behind the scenes With future country rock blues kings and queens Discover them first With Palm Bash TV Palm Bash TV Well, hello everybody. It's Paul Mash TV time once again. Thank you for joining us. We got a great interview coming up for you in a couple moments. But before we get into that, uh, don't forget to subscribe here and hit the bell. And anytime that uh, there's a new interview, you'll be notified. And as always, leave a comment on the comment section. We'd love to hear from you there. And if you're on Facebook, go to facebook.com forward slash Paul Mash TV. And all our interviews are there, so you can uh, leave a comment there, or you can inbox us, or even subscribe, or like the page. And uh, we have email as well, TV, all one word, at gmail.com. And it's not only good if you're a band or a solo artist and want to be on the show, but if you're just simply a fan, send us an email there, and we'd love to talk to you. And all this is going to be recapped at the closing credits at the end of the show, so stay tuned for that. From New York City, New York, we have A Thug on the show in just a couple moments. Another great talented artist, and I think you're going to agree, and we'll get to that in just a moment. But first, let's have a word from Click Jam, so don't go away. We'll be right back. We got history. Got me feeling the nostalgia when you look at me. Thinking about what could. Okay, everybody from New York City, we have uh, A Thug with us today. And uh, thank you for joining us, A Thug. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you, you know, for taking your time out today to interview me and stuff like that. You know, um, shout out to my dude C Styles for referring me and everything. I appreciate him too, you know. Okay, well, uh, we appreciate that. We're glad that you did come on here today. Um, why, don't, why don't we start with the obvious question? Uh, what, what was it that uh, got you started in the music business? I mean, I'm, I'm sure you've always been influenced in music. Maybe maybe you fell into it. Just let us know in your own words. Yeah, for the most part, like, um, basically, like, just relating to it so much. And then, like, you know, just listening to certain artists that I was able to relate to. And it'd be like, at first, it'd be like, they're saying stuff that I'm living, you know? A lot of people is the opposite. They want to live the rapper's lifestyle. Like, me, I already lived that lifestyle. Like, you know, like, I feel like a lot of people, they want to be something that they're not. They're trying so hard. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, with me, like, I, I built a whole label independently around myself. And um, I have did some wondrous work, see, like, you know, and I proved that, like, being indie is, like, you know, that was one of my things, too, like, just as an entrepreneur, like, I always wanted to have my own business, work for myself, be my own boss, you know? So I implemented, like, meet my love for music with that, you know? And um, you, we all know the music business is, like, you know, if, you don't, if you're not on top of your business, you just get chewed apart and ate alive. So basically with me, like, I studied, you know, I went to school. I went to Turo College for audio engineering, music business, marketing. You know, um, like I'm into reading books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad, you know, um, you know, uh, what's the law of attraction, um, you know, numerous different things. I got, I, but like, you know, that's, that's where my mind is at. Like, and I, like, you know, I got, I got a son, shout out to my son legacy. I want to leave wealth for him. I like, like, I want to show him how to do it out here, you know? Mm-hmm. So that's what basically got me started. Like, yo, this is, I love, and my love, I love music. I, I didn't just want to make music because everybody's making millions of dollars and stuff like that. You know, I've been doing this since I was a young teen, like freestyling in Cyprus, doing this so long. Like I'm, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm literally underrated, you know, so I'm not getting what I'm supposed to get. I feel like, you know, but at the end of the day, I'm my own management. I'm independent. You know, all of my marketing is coming from in-house. That's why I appreciate you. You know, every marketing or, or different promotions that I could get, like I'm, I'm open to the opportunities, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, that is a good story, and I'm glad you're doing what you're doing. I hope you'll be around for a long time uh, doing what you're doing. Okay, well, why don't we start uh, by asking you the next question here. Uh, tell us a little bit about some of the artists that you grew up with that motivated you. Definitely, like, growing up um, when I was young, I always was inspired by, like, you know, Mob Deep. I used to listen to them a lot. 
Capone and Noriega, um, um, the locks, um, definitely like I like Nas, mm -hmm. Big L, uh, Biggie, Tupac. Tupac is my favorite artist, you know. Um, so basically, like a lot of those artists is like is in the lane, but I got my own style too, you know. Like I, I that's what I always say. Like you got to be a, your own self. You have to have originality. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly, and and they're like just for sure, especially Tupac and and uh, Nas and all them. Uh, so I, I I can definitely see that in your music. Uh, thank you, thank you, um, appreciate it. Well, tell everybody exactly how they can find out about uh, where they can get your music. I mean, is it on all streaming platforms? Do you have physical copies? Let us know. Yeah, basically, I got physical copies. Like, I'm actually a vendor out on 125th in Harlem, right across from the Apollo. You know, 236 West 125th Street, where you can actually come meet me, you know, take pictures, like, you know, flick it up and, you know, come support the brand because we got custom tees, like everything, like what I'm rocking right here. This is a Shea Guerrero joint right here. Mm -hmm. We got like this, like, you know, different stuff, um, sweatpants, hoodies, book bags. Um, but basically, you could get your logo or any artist that you, you know, acquire that you want to put on there. We, we also do wholesale if you want to sell it. Like, I can help you, you know, build your merchandise, you know, um, and we could be partners, however the aspect may be. Also in New York, I do studio time, you know, one of the best prices, only 35 an hour. You know, um, we shoot videos and um, we also have Megastar TV where we could interview you. Like I was telling you, I could feature you on Megastar TV too, so we could post one with each other. Um, and Megastar Brand Magazine right now, that's like the our baby we've been, working on so many different interviews and 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 putting things together for the, for the first issue to drop it. And we looking for like, you know, at least another 10 artists, that's indie or major, that want to feature in there or anybody that would like to advertise in there, you know, uh, just hit me up and like we could um, make that happen, you know. But my album, Black Roller Stones, that's my latest project that's out right now. Um, Man, it's, it's I love that project. I've been listening to it. Like everybody that listens to it, like like you could go through it from beginning to end and vibe out. It's different vibes on there. It's not just the same thing. And that's why I think like it's, it's a breath of fresh air for 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 um, what people actually want to hear. You know, some mixed in. You know, I, and I forgot about Big Pun. I'm actually Panamanian too. That's another one of my influences. Um, you know. Um, so it's like I got like a lot mixed in, you know, like I'm I feel like technically like I'm really a very marketable artist in so many different ways, you know, and um, I'm actually looking for other outsourced people like to join a team that, you know, they love marketing. They're not just doing it because they want the money, but they want to, you know, and we could work together. You know, we could even do a deal like, you know, because I'm looking for somebody to really market because I got the water, Megastar, Agua, Holy Water, you know, um. And all of this stuff, you can check it out on megastarbrand.com and stuff like that. We got the water where we just, it's slow. We, we just selling it as we selling our merchandise on 125th. You can order it and stuff like that too. But with the shipping, it's like pretty crazy because it's like, it's pretty heavy, you know, the water. So it's better to just come through, you know, um, when you're in the area of Harlem and um, come get it. But I'm actually looking to get that in the stores too for anybody that is interested and want to, you know, test the water and see if they want to, um, be a distributor of it, you know? So we just looking to spin. Anybody that's business people, brand ambassadors, models, um, other artists, different businesses that's looking to market themselves also hit me up, you know? Let's network. That's what it's all about. Okay. Well, we certainly will. And, uh, get out there and get uh, A Thug's music there. I know he'd love you for that. And <laughs> um, we're getting ready to watch this music video from you. It's called Ownership. It's a kind of a tribute to Nipsey Hussle. Uh, is there anything else uh, you'd like to tell? Is there a story behind the music video and so forth? Yeah, this one right here, you know, basically, um, I did this, like, in a tribute to Nipsey because, like, it was like, when I look at him, that's another similar artist. I say, yo, he was from the West Coast. He had the grind. I saw him going through similar things, like, you know, the cops harassing him out there, different stuff, and you're trying to do something positive, you know. Um, so I looked at it like, wow, that was – and then he – you know, bossed up, he got his own store and different things of that nature, you know, um, and I, I respect that, you know, that's inspiring. And um, I feel like, you know, he was an artist that he kept it real for who he was, but he, he also had a message in his music, just like me, 
you know. So that's why I said, yo, let me make this song because we both was about ownership. So I, I found the relation that we both had, you know. And then I said, let me let me call it ownership. And um, I did this song literally like a day after he passed passed away. R.I.P. You know what I'm saying to the homie Nip. You know what I'm saying, live on, live strong. Okay, well, it is a great song, and I know everyone's dying to get into it, and we'll get into that in just a moment. But uh, right. before we do, I want to thank you, Aethon, for coming on the show. Uh, we'd love to have you back a second time sometime, so let Definitely. us know. Everybody tune into the Paul Mass show. He got a lot of interviews up there. Any artists that's looking to um, feature in there, hit me up, and I'll, I'll send you to, I'll send, give you his information, tell you where to find him, because, yo, he's doing some good stuff out here for artists, and I appreciate this, man, you know? Oh, oh Mass oh. TV, let's get it. <laughs> well, I thank you uh, for doing that, A-Thug. Uh, you the man. <laughs> <Definitely>. <laughs> and uh, you made my day, by the way. So uh, so let's get right into it. Ownership by A-Thug right here on Paul Mash TV. Don't go away. We'll be right back. And woke, cause that's how we kill a dream. Keep up with the pillars, just to know the schemes. Gotta know the ledge, don't fall off. Kings and queens worldwide, you know what I'm saying? We gotta stay woke. This is another situation where we lost another good brother, a king, you know what I'm saying? Activist in the world. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Life is a journey, not a destination. We determine our destiny by the direction we take. Hey, thought. Black Rolling Stones This is a tribute to the homie Nipsey Hussle You talking all that shit, you don't own your shit Now that's out of line, just pay your rent Let's stop the violence in your rap trip We all brothers, no matter the set This is for the homie Nip Everything he said makes sense Tears under my eyes cause it don't make sense Gotta cut the grass so you can see the snakes How my boys leave you, I don't need no rake I know it's different, it's rudeness on tape The way we live what we say, no lines is fake We invest in ourselves, now we gon' get paid I'ma build my own brain, I ain't gon' be no slave Say it with me one time, one time I'ma build my brain, I'm not gon' be no slave They want us to buy chains, but I won't be no slave I'm tryna save my soul so I won't be no grave This rap revolution, it ever stuff, play, play Black Rolling Stones, shout out to Nipsey Hussle and his family Another soldier gone, but the message will never be forgotten. This is for change. Show love, not war. Respect that. Lighters and cups in the air for the King Nipsey. We talking ownership. We're honest if you with me. The best study, the blindness is a pity. All the talent in the world, but it's a business, my dunny. All about Pete Nipsey, hustle. Great minds think alike. Lighters and cups in the air for the King Nipsey. We talking ownership. We're honest if you're with me. Invest, study the blindness is a pity. All the talent in the world, but it's a business, my dunny. My dunny. Ownership. 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 What? Ownership. Uh. He did it for the community, that's why I highlight up in rhymes It's really old truancy, but we gotta survive Shout out to Dr. Sebi, watch your health, that's wise From Harlem to Crenshaw, our spirits is live I put down the weight and invested in real estate I know who I was before I stepped in this game Hall of Fame, nah, I don't change for the fame These people love my records, y'all just pay to play Like Walt Disney, you on some goofy shit I know who I know on some loopy shit You move on some goofy kid, nah Dugger, he on some movie shit Shout out to Nipsey Hussle, he on some movie shit Gotta protect your assets and your life, homie When they stab you in the back, they want your life, homie Locked up, I can only count on my mommy That's why it's so important, I can trust my lady Black Rolling Stones, we can't be faded We gon' do this every day we made it You see, man, it's engraved in Life, 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 life T. West, the mastermind, megastar producer. We always working. We real hip hop heads. Shout out to Nipsey Hustle. It's the dedication track. We building it. You know what I mean? We so inspired by you, King. So we working. Rest in peace.
when I'm with the crew, only positive vibes. Devil been on me, God by my side.